Hi, I'm Travis with Flycraft, and today I'm going to show you how to install the rod holder. Things you're going to need for the install. Cordless drill, Sharpie, 11 32nd socket, 3 32nd pilot bit, quarter inch drill bit, and 3 32nd Allen key. Included in the kit, you've got the reel box, rod tubes, bracket, two 15 inch straps, two one and three quarter inch bolts, one and a half inch bolt, two inch bolt, and bracket hardware. A couple additional items you'll need is your patch kit and two seven sixteenths inch wrenches. Let's get started. Take the front frame piece and detach it from the boat. Put it on a flat working space. Next, take your two pieces of PVC, simply use it as a spacer so that the whole height is at the right level. Take your rod box, set it in the frame, leaving yourself about a one, in, one eighth inch gap between the frame and the reel box. Go ahead and give it a look over from the top, make sure everything is nice and even. Then take your Sharpie and mark the holes on the frame, like that. Remove the reel box, stand the frame piece up, go ahead and get your cordless drill with your 3 32nd pilot bit. And you're going to want to be pretty accurate here. Keep the drill nice and straight and go ahead and continue drilling right through to the other side. Go ahead and start drilling the other side. Now we want to flip the part over and start drilling the other side. Go ahead and reset your drill. Make sure it's still going in nice and straight from both sides. Looks like We've got it here, and continue through the other side of the tubing. Now we're going to switch to the quarter inch drill bit. Now that we've got our pilot holes drilled, go ahead and take the quarter inch bit and drill through the same hole. I like to go through one side and then flip the part over so I know I'm hitting both holes perfectly. Now that we've got the holes drilled, you want to make sure that you don't have any aluminum filings in the tube. So you can go ahead and tap that out, or if you have an air compressor, simply blow it out of the tube. Now we're ready to install the reel box. Take your one and three quarter inch bolts, install those in the two holes you made with two washers on the inside of both sides.
You're going to want to snug these up so you can get the reel box in nice and smooth. Now take the reel box, set that in, open the lid so you can see the, the holes, and slide your bolts through. You may need to add or remove a washer depending on the fit. In this case, we're going to add a third washer. Now that our spacing's right, go ahead and take your nylock nuts and install those. If you purchase the storage box, we're going to repeat the same steps just on the other side. Now that we've got the rod box installed, we're going to reassemble the frame. Okay, we've got the frame assembled, now we're ready to assemble the rod bracket. Okay, before you install the rod tubes, you're going to want to remove this thumb nut in the back here. Place it with your one and a half inch bolt. This is going to allow the rod tubes to slide up nicely against the frame. Take your face plate, line up the holes, and insert the machine screw. Next, thread on the nylock nut. And you're going to do that for all five. Okay, we've got these all finger tight. Now we want to tighten them a little bit all the way around to get an even compression on the tube flange. I'm going to tighten this one a little bit. Then go to the next one. And continue all the way around a couple times so that they are all tightened evenly. Don't over tighten and a good rule of thumb is to stop when the screw is flush. Now we're ready to install the rod tubes on the frame. Go ahead and slide them through the gap in the frame and line up the rod bracket hole on the rear hole of the rower seat. Take your two inch bolt, existing thumb nut, line up the bracket holes, work that through, reinstall the thumb nut. Now take the two 15 inch cam straps, and fasten those to the frame. Okay, we've completed the install and you're ready to go catch some fish.